Welcome, my friend. This is going to be on Wi-Fi hacking. There's a few things that we can do to make Wi-Fi hacking a reality, and let me show you how. And before we get started, remember to put on your thinking hat. Alright, remember kids, hacking is illegal. If you get caught hacking, do not tell them you know who is Mr. Hacker Loy. So on the left, you have the client devices, and it could be like, a, say, a mobile device. It could be a tablet, right, that you can be able to target, or it could even be a laptop device that we can go after. And the whole idea behind what's going on now, because on the right side, you have the Wi-Fi access point that you're able to connect over into. And it just looks kind of like a TV instead of Wi-Fi access point. <laughs> and what happens is that in this kind of Wi-Fi connectivity, you have all this different type of Wi-Fi network packets that are being emitted in the vicinity. And your best friend, Mr. Hackaloy, right here, what he wants to do is to be able to capture all of this information, especially in the initial handshake part, in order to establish the Wi-Fi connectivity between the client device on the left towards the Wi-Fi access point on the right. And once you manage to capture that, that's it. It's game over. We now have access to the Wi-Fi access point. So right in front of us, we're on Kala Linux, and we are connected to Wi-Fi Pineapple device. And what I can do now is I can hit over to the administrative console, which is 172, as you can see here. I can enter the following, 172, all right, followed by 16421 hit enter on that, and you'll be prompted for the Wi-Fi Pineapple login. So what you can do here is enter root, follow by the password that you've set up. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my password, and now this will allow us to log into the Wi-Fi Pineapple device. And from here, we can see the clients connected, the notification, the SSIDs, and all these different details. And what we are trying to do here is go over into the reconnaissance tab, all right, and we want to begin scanning the area for any of these Wi-Fi's and its connected devices. So you can see right here, I've completed a scan. I can show you one more time how that scan looks like. So you can select a time or continuous. So select on it, go ahead and click start. That will begin scanning the area, looking up for all this Wi-Fi and its associated client devices so that we can begin attacking these devices by running what we call a D-off attack. So you'll be saying, what exactly is a D-off attack? So here you can see on the left, you have the laptops, the devices that are connected wirelessly to the Wi-Fi access point. And right at the bottom, you can see Mr. Hackerloy right here. And what he's going to do is to disguise himself as the Wi-Fi access point and begin sending out what we call the de-authentication frames or attacks to those target devices to make them disconnect from one another. And it's simply disguising themselves as the different client devices, as well as the Wi-Fi access point, and then sending the de-authentication to remove the handshake so that there's a disconnect between the client devices and the Wi-Fi networks. So right in front of us, we have a mobile device that is connected to the target Wi-Fi. And in this case, it has a specific MAC address. And with that, we can force a disconnection from the client device to the target Wi-Fi access point. And when they try to do a handshake again, we capture that handshake and be able to crack the password into the Wi-Fi access network. So going back to the demonstration here, we have the following. Hacker law and Wi-Fi. So this is the target and this 22B8, this is the MAC address that we're going after. So what you can do here is you can click onto the down button, all right? And we can see that we have the, the authentication multiplier and all these different attack methods. And what I'm going to do now is to go ahead and click onto WPA PSK. We do the capture wireless handshake by clicking start capture. And there will be an additional tab that opens up for us to launch the D-off attack. So once it pops up, all you gotta do right now is go ahead and click D-off and we can see that the devices begin getting disconnected. And what happens then is that it attempts to connect to it again, allowing the hacker to be able to capture the wireless handshake. So that's exactly how it works. And can see right here, we got a following, download PCAP. So go ahead and click on it. And once you have that, you can save it into your Kali Linux or whichever of your favorite operating system. So in this case, I'm going to save it over into desktop as 02 whatever PK, go ahead and save it. And now this is the exciting part. This is where we begin the password cracking process. So now we are open up terminal. I can CD over into desktop where I've saved the file and I can use a tool like AirCrack and then we can target a password list. So what I can do here is I can do a touch 
All right, so we can create like password.lst, and then I can do a, say, vim into password.lst, so we can use some of these commonly used passwords, and I think some of the password that HackerLoy could be using is because HackerLoy is a very handsome guy, so he could be using a password like HackerLoy is very handsome, so I can save that in, and what I can do now is I can go ahead and use aircrack, and I can target the password file. So again, there's tons of password file that's available on Kali Linux that we can use as part of launching the attack of password cracking on the target PCAP file. So here with this in mind, we can do a dash B and we can use the MAC address that was captured. So you can see the following here. So we have HackerLoy Wi-Fi, right click, copy, go back into terminal, do a paste over here, and then followed by the target file. So in this case, we have 02, right, C0 and so on and so forth, now PCAP. Hit enter on that, and boom, that's it. You can see the following right here. Here we have key file, HackerLoy is very handsome. And yes, you have to change all of your password to HackerLoy is very handsome so that you do not get hacked.